Abraham said, if they will not hear Moses, if they will not hear the prophets, neither will they believe even if somebody were to come back from the dead. <laughs> For Dr. Rodney Howard Brown says the Holy Spirit is making folks out. That as these programs are airing, I am speaking something into existence. If that sounds eerily like God's act of creation in Genesis 1 and 2, that's because it is. Dear friends, only God can speak things into existence. Jesus got up and he simply spoke to the storm. He said, peace be still. And all of a sudden there was a great calm. And the reason Jesus was able to bring peace to that situation was because he had peace on the inside. Might it have had anything to do with the fact that, oh, I don't know, that, that he was God? But if the Godhead gets together and say, let us... How can we say that again because I they now, don't get it. I now come into a priestly anointing. Jesus is not the only begotten on. Son of God. He is not. Dear friends, when it comes to matters of theology, when it comes to matters of doctrine, we absolutely are to judge on these things safely within biblical parameters. You know, you're the, you're supposed to control the weather. From the hand of Pastor Benny Hinn, and believers are overcome by the presence of the Lord. Friends, I've been to the Benny Hinn Crusades. I've been to eight of them. And I've seen what the television cameras won't show you, that on the floor in the back are dozens and dozens and dozens of sick people. It looks like it's silver and gold mixed tonight. And I was sucked out of my room. I heard this, and I went, I just, and you talk to that thing, and you tell it you're not coming here, I command you to dissipate, and you get back up there in Jesus' name. They demote God to make him look more human than what he is, and then they deify man to make us look a lot more like God than what we really are. But I'm going to say to you right now, you are God's, little g. You are God's because you came from God and you are God's. You're not just human. The only human part about you is this physical body that you live in. The real me is just like God. And if God is in a body, that means he cannot be everywhere at the same time, which means he's not omnipresent and that's not the God of the Bible. If they preach a different God, they preach a different gospel. I need money. Then start creating it. Start speaking about it. Start speaking it into being. Speak to your billfolds, say, you big, thick billfolds full of money. God is God. He doesn't have to have faith. He doesn't exercise faith. He doesn't use faith. He's God. He's the object of faith. Oh, wait a minute. What does that mean, object? I don't know what that means. I don't either. Um, but he's about to do it again. Now hear this. I'm prophesying this. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is about to appear physically in some churches and some meetings and to many of his people for one reason, to tell you he's about to show up. All I could think about is what a powerful testimony that would be. If all of a sudden I were to show up walking, you know, there is no cure for cerebral palsy. Once you got it, you got it, unless God does something. So we see right there that God wants us to be healthy. Can everybody say, God wants me to be healthy? What I do is try to just teach practical principles. I may not bring the scripture into the end of my sermon, and, and I don't feel bad about that. The faith preachers take the word of God, and instead of it serving as a source of strength and encouragement to the afflicted believer, they take God's word, they wrench it out of its context, turn it on its head so now it stands in judgment over them. And I cannot imagine a more self-serving perversion of God's Word than what the faith preachers do with it. And to top it all off, they take their money. God could do nothing on earth, nothing has God ever done on earth without a human giving him access. Right. Repent the thing before me and I'll cleanse you from all unrighteousness. I won't even let him know you did it. If Jesus is keeping secrets from the Father, then that means there are things that the Father does not know, which means he is not omniscient and that's not the God of the Bible. And any Jesus who's keeping secrets from the Father is not the Jesus of the Bible. If they preach a different Jesus, they preach a different gospel. And a different gospel does not.